Hello everyone, welcome back once again. Today we will look at Android application development using the Android Studio. I'll walk you through the basics of setting up your first Android application. But before we do so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get straight into it. First thing first, we need to install Android Studio. So the official ID for Android development. So we'll head over to the Android Studio download page and download the version suit suitable for your operating system. So once downloaded, follow the installation instructions. It's pretty straightforward and it's few clicks and you should have your Android Studio up and running. So now that we have the Android Studio installed, let's go ahead and create our first project. So let's open it, the Android Studio, and go on and create our first project. So as we can see here, once we open it, we get we have this new project dialog here. So here we actually get a bunch of templates that we can get started with. Okay. So we have a template for phone and tablets, um, the Wear OS, television, automotive. Yeah. So basically, we've got a template for whatever Android that you want to target or Android device that you want to target. So let's have a look at what we've got here. So you can select an empty activity. So this is just to, to start from fresh or to start afresh with no code. Or you can you can select the, the Gemini API. So this, this is just for the Google um, the AI chatbots. Okay. And if you look on the template side here, we've got the where. So also we can create a no activity where application or empty where application with tile and whatnot, yeah. And we've got the television template. So basically, you can create an Android application for and uh, for our Android TV and automotive. So basically, you can create an Android application or med for media services and whatnot that targets an auto operating system. Okay. So once we're done with all that bit here, let's go ahead and select a um, basic view activity to get us started. Okay. So once we, once we select this here, let's go ahead and click on the next. So here we've got the basic application configuration. So we can go ahead by giving our application a name. So you can give what, your application whatever name that you want. Um, I'm just gonna call it anything. I mean, YT300, yeah? And then here, obviously you can select or you can change the project locations. And here, you can select the minimum SDK. As you can see, we've got API 24 or the Android 7.0 selected here, so you can and drop down and select whatever that is applicable to you okay and here you can select the language yeah so for this part here let's use kotlin instead of java yeah so as you can see at the build configuration language so kotlin dsl that's the recommended one yeah so once we've done with all of this bit here let's go ahead and click on the finish So this might take a while before our, um, our project is created. So I'm just going to pause the video while the whole thing creates. So as you can see here now, we've got our project created. So let's go ahead and look at what we have in terms of files and folders that we've got here. Yeah? So as we can see here now, we've got a bunch of folders and files. So first of all, the app folder, which is this here, the app folder um, contains all the code for your application. So inside, you find a Java for your Kotlin files, um, uh, um, RES for your resources like layout and images and whatnot. Yeah. So as you can see, here, the app contains the sources. So let's open this. So as you can see here now, we've got a bunch of um, folders here. We've got the Android test, the main, and the test. So let's open the main. So the main contains the Java and then the, the resource folder, then the manifest. So let's open the Java. So inside the Java code here, we've got the com. Yeah, so let's open the, um, the com folder contains example. 
So let's have a look at it. So as you can see here now, we've got main activity and the second fragment and whatnot here. So as you can see, it's not it's not very difficult, but we're not going to look too much into the code here. First of all, let's look at how we can run our project. Okay. First, let's as we can see here now. We have, you see this, this bit is not green. So let's go ahead and add configuration. So edit configuration. So here, this is what we have. So let's click on the plus button here. So let's select um, Android app. So this is what we get. So let's go ahead and, so as you can see here now, we have no, um, no module. And then the default APK, we've got nothing here. So this is what we're going to do here. We're just going to cancel it, okay? And this is what we do. Let's select this bit here. So this will bring out the file edit and whatnot. So let's go to uh, run, um, either build or run, yeah? So here, let's select the debug. So as you can see here now, it's still telling us to um, edit the configuration, okay? So let's come back here. So as you can see here now, once we actually rebuild the application, we've got this bit coming up here. So let's select, let's select this here. This is the emulator. So as you can see, it's not being selected. Let's select this. First of all, what I'm going to do is we're just going to run it first. We're going to run the application first. So it might take a while, so I'm just going to pause. So as you can see here now, it's actually showing there's a build error. So I think it's got something to do with my internet or something. So let's have a look at how we can select our, um, our Android device, okay? So basically, I'll make um, a different video on this, but I'm just going to show you how you can you can actually run your app, Android application. Okay, so here you can go ahead by select you can select this. So as you can see here now, you've only got one device showing. Yeah, so let's close it. So here, let's select this. So this is basically this. Um, this emulator okay so what we will do next is um, i will show you how we can go we can create a, a new um, emulator and what type of emulators that we can use okay so basically i'll leave i'll leave this video here not to complicate you too much yeah but i will, I will make a follow-up video just to continue from here in terms of setting up the android emulator so i i, I, I just hope that um, this actually helped you to get started in terms of building your first Android application, okay? So, I'll leave you here. Have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.